Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 most iconic airplanes of all time. Many people adore their cars, others are transfixed by motorbikes, but for some, they need something way more powerful to love. And that would, of course, be airplanes. Most of the time, we barely notice them while they fly way over our heads, but if you really stop to learn more about them, you'll discover they really are things of beauty and grace. Over the years, dozens and dozens of truly memorable, amazing planes have flown our skies and have earned a place in every airplane lover's heart. To show respect to the people who designed these beauties, we want to count down the top 10 most iconic airplanes to ever have existed. Number 10. Wright Flyer Of course, we have to start with the history of flight. The Wright Flyer was designed by the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, and made its first successful flight back in 1903. With a top speed of 30 miles per hour, numerous people point to the Wright Flyer as the aircraft which kick-started the aviation industry and initiated the love affair that many have with planes today. Number 9. Cirrus SR-22 This single-engine four-seater plane has been hugely popular since 2011, being used mainly for training new pilots. The Cirrus SR-22 was flown by Ryan Campbell in 2013, when he became the youngest pilot to fly around the world. The lightweight frame and relatively simple controls make a great choice for hobbyist pilots, and the parachute system is highly regarded as one of the best ever designed. Number 8. Boeing B-29 Superfortress through no fault of its own, the B-29 has a tarnished name in history, being the plane that dropped the devastating atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II. However, the plane was a technological marvel at the time, and actually became the first aircraft to fly around the world non-stop. 7. Concord Concorde was a supersonic aircraft capable of reaching speeds of 1,354 miles per hour and could hold around 120 passengers. During the 70s, flying on Concorde was all the rage as the plane essentially halved the flight times due to its incredibly fast speeds. A flight from London to Singapore, for example, would take 7 hours rather than 17. However, over the years, Concorde started to fall in popularity due to rising ticket prices, high maintenance costs, and a horrific crash in the year 2000, which killed everyone on board. The Concorde was retired in 2003, but the world is still fascinated with supersonic travel, and this concept may certainly return one day. Number 6. Boeing 747 If you've gone on vacation in the last 40 years, then we think it's highly likely you've flown on a Boeing 747. This plane made national and international travel an affordable and easy pursuit for millions across the world, simply because it was economical and could fit hundreds of passengers inside. However, the 747's days are coming to an end, as airlines such as Delta and United have already begun to retire the popular airliner from their fleet in favor of newer models. Other airlines are likely going to follow suit, but the 747 is still going to remain as a cargo plane. Number 5. Harrier Jump Jet this makes the list chiefly because of its unique takeoff and landing feature. The Harrier jump jet, designed in the UK by Hawker Siddeley in the 1960s, can actually take off and land vertically. Because of this, the fighter jet can land in improvised bases, such as car parks, where other planes simply can never reach. Number 4. Learjet 23 As of now, private air travel has become immensely popular in a way that not many could have predicted. Except for Bill Lear. Around 50 years ago, Lear helped pioneer the private jet industry with the Learjet 23, a small but beautifully designed plane which could carry around eight people. With its stylish look and lush interior, this plane quickly became synonymous with private business traveling and celebrity jet setting. The USA has naturally been a hotbed for private jet destinations, particularly New York, Las Vegas, and Aspen. But other locations such as Nice in France, Monte Carlo in Monaco, and Nassau in the Bahamas have soared in popularity in recent years. The UK, primarily because of London's business hub, has also become a rapidly emerging destination for private jet travel. Number 3. The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird The Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird has a lot going for it. Not only is it an absolute thing of beauty to behold, but it's also actually the world's fastest air-breathing jet. Air-breathing means that it is not powered by rockets. It was also instrumental in doing spy missions across the world. The Blackbird clocked a whopping top speed of 2,193.13 miles per hour, that's Mach 3, in July of 1976. This is a record that has never been beaten for a jet in its class. Any rocket fired at the Blackbird during its reconnaissance missions basically stood no chance. The jet could simply accelerate and avoid any hit. The plane was finally retired in 1999, largely due to rising operational costs, but it still remains a fascinating jet in military aviation history.
Number 2. General Dynamics F-16 Sometimes called the Viper or the Fighting Falcon, for many in the United States, the F-16 remains a massively iconic jet since its launch in 1976. With a sleek and sharp design, this jet has been used for many major wars since its creation, and despite newer models existing today, over 4,500 F-16s have been built, and it is still used by some military forces around the world. Number 1. Supermarine Spitfire if there's one aircraft that can summarize World War II, it's the Spitfire. Used primarily by the British Air Force, this plane became a symbol for hope during those heavy years. Though some would say the Germans Messerschmitt outgunned and outmaneuvered the Spitfire, the latter was arguably faster and put up hefty dogfights during the prime years of the war, such as the Battle of Britain, D-Day, and the evacuation of Dunkirk. The aircraft, now long since retired, is a cultural icon of Britain and is often used in ceremonial flypasts at national events. The planes on the big screen were recently seen in Christopher Nolan's film, Dunkirk. So I really hope you found that video interesting. And if you're looking for other stuff just like this, we put out brand new videos every day of the week. So do subscribe to get notified about those. Also, if you want to watch something else right now, videos over there on the right from our archive. So check those out. And as always, thank you for watching.